Hampshire as well. Greg McKenzie is at Heathrow Airport, and I love some of the signs that are going up there. And um, Greg, morning. Look at this. Well, good morning, Louise. So, yes, I'm in my waistcoat here at Terminal 5 at Heathrow. It's been transformed. World Cup fever is well underway. So, we've got Johnny and Steve here. They are lucky enough to get hold of tickets to that semi final tomorrow. So, guys, you've just checked in on the 8.45 to Moscow. Uh, what are you going to do when you get there? Go and get the tickets, first and foremost. Get them tickets. Make sure that our, uh, we get our fan ID because you can't get in the ground without a fan ID. So, yeah. Take in a few much. sites, go to Red Square, see what's going on meet a few more of the England boys. Now, how easy was it to get hold of those semi-final tickets and how much did they cost you? Uh, there was uh, 750 US dollars on the resale on Sunday and it was uh, five hours of sheer hell, but it, we got them in the end, so that's the most important thing. And we also got a couple off the FA as well, so that's turned that's out really touch. good. So yeah, really brilliant. Good. Yeah, and have we got it? Is it coming home? Of course it's, it's coming home, you know it. Is you coming home? Coming home. Uh, I'm staying here, but good luck. Let's yeah, hope it will all work out tomorrow. So you've got footballs here. Look, kids playing. They're all checking in for that flight to Moscow. We've also got some face painting going on here. So, uh, uh, Tom, what's going on? Uh, just getting my face painted, getting in the spirit. England flag. Uh, kids are coming through in the family zone today, so they're all going to have their faces painted. So. Yeah, all good. And it takes four hours, ten minutes to get to Moscow on this 8.45 flight this yeah. morning? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, four hours, yeah, yeah, just over, so, um, yeah, not too long. And British Airways, what they've done, they've increased the flow of, uh, well, the, they've been, got bigger jets going out to Moscow, so normally they, they fly their domestic jets, the small ones, it's about 140 passengers per flight. They're actually flying the big guns, the triple sevens, out to Moscow. They can carry about 390 passengers, and they've said they saw a 2,000% spike since England beat Sweden on Saturday. 2,000% spike in interest in flights to Russia. So let's head over here and we can see more people checking in this morning. So you've got uh, some people checking in here and uh, this is the check-in area. So uh, look, they're around that side actually. So let's try and grab him, the guy that's going in to check in for Russia. So uh, are you, no, you're on the flight to Russia this morning? Oh, the cake. Look, we've even got cake here. So they're even giving out waist jackets. So it's Football fever has reached Terminal 5. So uh, as you walk about, let's get this in. Can you see this? It's coming home. Are you on the Moscow flight? You on the Moscow flight? So you're heading to Moscow this morning? Yeah. Excited? Yeah, so you got your World Cup ticket? Yeah, I did. She has it. You got it. How much did you pay? Well, it's, it's through our work, so... Yeah. Lucky, yeah, lucky. lucky yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, in terms of the flight, you're excited. How's your Russian? Hello? How's your Russian? I can't speak any. <laughs> OK. Well, thank you very much. Well, that uh, semi-final will be taking place. Of course, tomorrow kickoff is at 7 o'clock. Now it's time for the news, travel and weather where you are.